trouble is there's a filter in here mate we'll have to take this off this is exam so we stranded already <laughs> now this was to be expected it's an old machine so um, i got it from a scrapyard so you should expect some uh, maintenance Bad. It's either uh, me seeing the preview of the GoPro or the GoPro recording, so you'll have to miss out on that. For now. Uh, we're gonna go down there. Handbrake is off, bucket is up. Everything in the back is up. We want to go in reverse. No olive trees in the way? No?
face it, I'm never going to get that in. hard work working the digger but mostly I'm nervous <laughs> when I hold the stick for too long the whole machine gets dragged the other way look <laughs> mm, but it's freaking cool though uh, this is a little bit more difficult I want to flatten the land there but uh, yeah I'll try again now but the tree went better It's a lot harder than expected. <laughs> so, 
Thank you for the advice on the stationery. Very well needed. And this should be the kill switch, right? Ha! Learning! Thanks to you guys. <laughs> Uh, the idea that I had with uh, the GoPro as a camera for seeing where the bucket uh, is. Well, first of all, <laughs> the GoPro is uh, pointing the other way. <laughs> it's very dirty now. <laughs> it's not coming off. Ah, that didn't really work. It's really hard to see... Uh, where the bucket is touching ground. You see, I made a pretty big mess here. <laughs> uh, this all should be a flat surface for the garden. So uh, all this soil we're gonna shove up a little so we can make some terraces there later on. <laughs> but now I just want to have this uh, sort of flat. And it wasn't flat because it was turned by uh, tilting machines. It was all like rock hard. At least we're uh, loosening up the soil now. <laughs> A lot to do. Until now she is uh, performing uh, really well. Still haven't made up a name for the digger. You all came with uh, very good suggestions. Uh, but I do want a girl's name. Otherwise I would have gone with uh, Doug. <laughs> Maybe we should call her Babushka. Like a Russian babushka, the grandma, big Russian grandma. <laughs> Matilda, also sounds like a strong, uh, strong woman's name. Yeah, I'm gonna continue on this uh, tomorrow.
the fuel tank be? I'm trying to think where I saw it on the on the diagram. Yeah, the sissing was coming from here, and I think this is the ah, okay. block with the valves, right? Uh, could there were this? No, like more to the back. Okay, hang on, so look at this. I can't see anything on here, Jasper. What is that? That's the gauge to tell you how full it is. I reckon it's oh, probably... Okay. Well, it says here like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. can you see a little bubble or the liquid going up and down? Trouble is there's a filter in here, mate. We'll have to take this off. This has got a pre-filter in it. So oh yeah. You need to take these That's off. The thing and I then... Is it? Yeah. Okay. It has like this ring on it. Yeah. And it holds in. Yeah. Can't see shit like this. No, we'll have to take it off. It sounds empty, mate. I think you want some hydraulic oil, but let's listen to it with you trying to operate it. Yes. In case it's not that, you know. But I think that's what it is. that first and then oh. this is exam ah. fuel no this is a fuel line right but I could hear lots of glug, 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 glug. yeah I heard that also yesterday so it's almost like the fluid's going back in a container and it's the pressure's coming out of the container as the liquid's going back in. Ah. Well, the gearbox should be like straight on the engine, right? Well, no? it depends. You've probably got a, a transfer box here. Ah, here's one. Right, here it is, I think. In the middle? Yeah, no, here. Oh. What is that, the gearbox oil? Ah. It's not super low, whatever it is. It's pretty much full. Seems like it has different oil then, right? Yeah, but that's coming from this box. Have you tried searching online what it could be? No. Yeah, we shall go back and have a quick search. It's hard to know at the moment. Because I don't really know uh, where everything is on the vehicle yet. No. Okay. Yes, we're back. Hi. Yeah.
really put the arms down on it when you need it. So, as you noticed, we stranded already. <laughs> now this was to be expected. It's an old machine, so um, I got it from a scrapyard, so you should expect some uh, maintenance. So the guys already told me that it uh, needs regular maintenance, but that is probably not why it stopped right now. Uh, because uh, you can hear the engine is, uh, yeah, I think uh, for full power. But uh, the machine is not moving very much, although it does move sometimes, and we're not really sure why. <laughs> well, Alex has an uh, assumption. Uh, as soon as we turn the machine off, you hear like a hissing sound. And apparently we traced it back to the release valve of the, um, the gearbox. And Alex says it's... Um, so it's rushing oil after it turns off. It's rushing oil back into the to the gearbox, and uh, it's releasing air that is in there. Um, but Alex says it shouldn't be uh, so much air that is coming out. So um, the transmission is automatic, and it's a very ingenious system with all kind of um, with sort of canals where oil travels through and then activates the right gear. So Alex is suspecting that maybe that um, is jammed up somewhere. Um, another thing we found out is that the hydraulic oil is very low. Um, but the hydraulic oil is separate from the gearbox oil. So that shouldn't affect uh, the gearbox. I uh, did buy some uh, hydraulic oil to um, at least exclude this, uh, that as, an, uh, as the problem. And we need to get this thing out of the way because even if I can't dig here we need to start with the garden so I might need to uh, push it out of its own way and I do need uh, hydraulic oil for that because this thing is uh, very low at the moment there's a meter like here in front and it's like on the last little bit so I got some oil uh, a little bit thicker because this is a little bit older machine uh, I'm taking a little bit thicker oil because it uh, leaks here and there. <laughs> uh, apparently it's not a problem uh, to mix the oil with um, the less thicker oil, if that would be in there. But I suspect there's already uh, thicker oil in here. So we're going to fill that up and then uh, I don't expect it to move. I'm hoping, but <laughs> I'm not expecting. <laughs> Uh, and otherwise I need to uh, see if I can push it with the backhoe that it at least is uh, either a little bit that way or a little bit that way or maybe to the back that's also possible let's see it's pretty chilly
that did not go up by a lot. <laughs> it's a pretty big tank. My feet are getting slippery now. So that's 20 liter of hydraulic oil. It's visible on here. It reaches uh, here. So according to my calculations, I need uh, five more of those to fill it up. Expect much, but uh, let's see what happens. That is probably regular maintenance. <laughs> the first time it does that also. It doesn't do that also.
yeah, that didn't change much. But as you saw, sometimes it rides a little, drives. At least I uh, was able to get it out of the way. So we can start here. So we can start here. There. 